Hey everybody, James here from HelpStartMySite.com and I'm pleased to announce that I just finished writing my first ebook. Of course, if you're subscribed to my email list, you already know that because you got a free copy. Anyway, writing my book was a huge learning experience for me and I'd love to share some of my newfound knowledge with you. This video is all about things I learned while writing Blogging for Profit, a beginner's guide to starting your very own web business, which I'll link in the description below. The first thing I learned was to only write when you actually feel like writing. Let me tell you, I'm the type of guy that likes to get things done and over with quickly. As a result, I continued writing my book even when I no longer wished to be doing so. When I was doing my first round of editing for the book, I could clearly tell that certain sections seemed rushed, and the complete lack of detail forced me to completely rewrite those sections over again. In other words, because I insisted on rushing, I actually spent more time when I had to go back and rewrite entire sections over again. The same exact concept can apply to blogging. If you're not in the mood to write an article, then don't bother doing it. You would be wasting both your time as well as your visitors' time. If you absolutely must write, be sure to get up and take breaks every now and again. De-stressing is extremely important to maintain a good quality of writing. Number 2. Don't write when you're tired. Let's be honest here. Sometimes it's late and we're having a hard time sleeping, so we decide we can use the extra time we have to get some work done. Smart, right? Unfortunately, this isn't always a great idea. While it may not seem like your body is tired, your mind certainly will be if you've gone a long period without sleep. When editing my book, you can clearly tell what sections I wrote when I was wide awake and which sections I wrote at 3am. <laughs> the sections I wrote late into the night were horrific. I repeated the same ideas multiple times and many of the sentences I wrote didn't make any sense at all. There were some sections that were so strange I could hardly tell what I was trying to say. Sometimes it's hard to notice, but your writing does get worse if you're tired. That's fine, we're only human. Go to bed and continue writing in the morning. You'll save time and your writing will be much better. Number 3. Your writing is never clear enough. Sometimes ideas that make perfect sense to you will make absolutely no sense for others. When I thought my book was in a semi-acceptable state, I handed a copy to some friends for them to look over. The next day, I was shocked to find out that some of the sections I wrote made absolutely no sense to the readers. This book was aimed toward people who have never blogged before, so it was incredibly important that everything was clearly understood. Although I felt I had explained things as clearly as possible, it wasn't enough. I spent the next out few hours simplifying as much as I possibly could. As a result, my book was much easier to read and to understand. Always remember that your readers will usually not have the knowledge and expertise that you have. Therefore, it's important to explain things in a manner that can make sense for everyone. You can always make your writing clearer and easier to understand, so don't hesitate to try and do so. 4. Write first, edit later. One concept I learned when writing my book is to simply write what comes to mind and focus on making it sound good later. I couldn't possibly imagine how much longer my book would have taken if I had tried to edit it as I went. Heck, I probably still want to be done. The best writing will come straight from your head. Get your ideas out on paper as soon as possible, or you'll be stuck focusing on how to make one small section sound good. Your first draft should be bad. That's why it's a first draft. Say everything you want to say, then go back and edit it later. Finally, remember to edit, and then edit again, and then edit again. The fact of the matter is, you won't catch all of your mistakes the first time you edit your writing. If you can't already imagine by now, the first draft of my book was absolutely horrifying. Editing it was very challenging. In fact, I had to edit it five times in total. The first time was for spelling and grammar. The second time for sentence structure. The third time for word choice. The fourth time was for clarity. And the fifth time was to check over any other mistakes I may have missed. And it still needed to be edited further. While shorter articles may not need to be edited to such an extreme extent, it's always a good idea to look over it at least twice. You'd be surprised how many mistakes you make without realizing it. Looking over some of my old articles now, I cringe horribly whenever I see how bad some of my editing mistakes were. Since you managed to make it this far into the video, you obviously like what I'm telling you. Therefore, you should do yourself a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel to ensure you never miss one of my videos again. You can also do me a huge favor by clicking that like button below the video and sharing this video with anyone you believe could benefit from knowing all these useful writing tips. If you haven't already, you should visit my website and opt into my email list. If you're serious about building your business and making money online, there's no reason not to. Finally, I want you to leave a comment below this video right now telling me which one of these tips you're going to start putting into practice to build your writing.
Thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you.